typically I wouldn't go <coughs> live excuse me at this point in time but I thought this was time for some straight heat all right this is not gonna be a nice this is not gonna be fun and I'm just gonna be real in this particular live show I have to be real in this particular live show this is your boy Mad Mike man coming at you guys with say another video this is sad it's 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 becoming a, a issue that let's be real we have to talk about this all right again this is a straight heat all right i'm talking about straight heat so be prepared to be uncomfortable be prepared for honesty in this particular live video john sinclair how you doing now you bury Michael Walker. Yeah, this this it's, it's not even fucking sad anymore. Okay, I'm I'm gonna be real. I like like I said, I, I'm not holding anything back. Like I said, I told you guys this straight this straight heat series is gonna be 100 percent hard fucking core. This shit is fucking stupid. It's not even fucking sad anymore. This is fucking stupid. It's embarrassing. It's just fucking stupid. And at this point, all of these players, this has everything to do with fucking ego and thinking you're above the law, thinking that you are above God, thinking that you're above everything. This is fucking stupid. This, this, this is, this is so, the, the, so much fucking arrogance in this. It's so much arrogance in this particular. How are you still not getting it when you literally have example after example after example? I want to read you guys something. The reason why I say I'm not I'm look this 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 shit is this this, this is absolutely disgusting and it's it's to a point where you can't even blame being young. This is beyond fucking stupidity. Let, let me. Let, it's, it's like I said. This is this is not sad. It's not sad at all. I just put about thirteen minutes ago. I, I want. I want. Look. I want. You see these pictures right here. This. This. This is. This is absolutely fucking disgusting, and it's stupid, and it's beyond arrogance. All right. Let, let me. Let me read you. Read this. It, and, and let me say this. All right. All this is alleged. Okay. All of this is alleged. All of this allegedly happening or happen. But let, let me read what TMZ and a host of other people are saying. A woman was injured in the crash that involved Chiefs wide receiver Rashi Rice car and he and she, excuse me, and she said the man put her four year son in danger and walked away without sympathy per Dallas News. I'm just blessed I was able to walk out of there. She also said a pair of white cleats were left in the back of the Lamborghini. One of the other witnesses said they took guns and bags from the vehicle. Look at these fucking thugs. Okay. These are fucking thugs, and you can kiss my ass if you have a if you have any fucking problem with what I got to say. This shit is this this is beyond stupid. This is thinking that you are above the law. You're not fucking Tony Montana. Tony Montana is not a real fucking character. This is not a real person. How many times are young black men going to see? this happen how, how many times are we going to continuously see this crap happen 
What is it going to take for young black men to understand that just because you think that this weed is not going to help you or this heroin or whatever the hell it may be, uh, all of this won't because you're taking it because you're young and you feel like you're strong and you have your whole life ahead of you. What is it? What is it going to take for you guys to understand that life comes fast and that, that this is going to ruin not only your life, but it can really ruin someone else's life. And thank God, thank the God above that no one got hurt. This is disgusting, it's sad, and it is pure arrogance. And these fucking thugs to get out of the Lamborghini, leave it there, don't even check and see if the baby is okay, not even check to see if people are right. They get the guns out of the bag and walk clean away like nothing ever happened and absolutely no regard for human life no regard for human life whatsoever and then we want to be the first motherfuckers when the cops throw our ass and they throw our ass into the concrete and bust our fucking head y'all want sympathy y'all want to say oh white well, no, black life matter black life matter black life matter don't do us like this and then we have instances like this where they shoot up schools and shoot up neighborhoods and do all this thuggy shit run people off the fucking road because we feel like we can because we the biggest uh, uh hottest rap group or we the the biggest wide receiver or we on top of the fucking world i got my crew and my crew is the top of the world get the fuck out of here this shit is disgusting no regard for human life because we think we're tough we rough and we we on top of the fucking world this shit is this shit is sad it's disgusting. Any, any word that you could come up with, it, this is exactly what it is. It's arrogance to the umpteenth degree. And I'm so fucking tired of using young and youth and age as a barometer for ignorance. At this point, this is you just don't give a fuck. You don't care anything and nobody. How you doing, Chris? John. This is what's up, Dave. This, this is this right here is pure arrogance. This has nothing to do with youth. This has nothing to do with this. These guys are being just body. They do not care. And I'm and, and I wrote something. I said, look, look. I'm gonna be honest. If I'm any, if I'm a general manager in the NFL, fuck any black wide receiver. I'm in a unique situation where a lot of black, uh, a lot of black kids don't even get a get an opportunity. We have NIL deals with young black athletes, white athletes, Hispanic, Asian. All, everybody is able to make money, but instead of these guys doing what's right with the money, guess what we doing? We racing Lamborghinis on the fucking highway and leaving and leaving the scene, uh, uh, lean, leaving the fucking scene where several cars were wrecked. And you just took your your drug, gun, or whatever the hell was in the bag, okay? Allegedly was in the bag. We just take it and we just gonna walk. Look, look at him. Not a fucking tear. No, no nothing. Nobody gave a shit about anything. Nobody gave a shit if they were dead or not. These motherfuckers just walked away from the fucking scene. Pieces, cars, and everything. All like this. Uh, cars, just, uh, just everything fucking wrecked. And these fucking hooligans just left this fucking scene. And I look, look, look. Maybe, maybe. But I, if I'm, like I said, if I'm a general manager at this point, point in time, I'm looking at every black wide receiver. I'm doing research on them. Why? It's because. How many times are we going to look at wide receivers being unappreciative of making millions of dollars? And it's just never enough. We got Julio Jones. Julio Jones will hear years and years and years. And guess what he do? The organization loved them. The fan love them. And guess what he does? He say, oh, I want my money. 
and then say, oh, I got my money. Fuck you, fans. Fuck you, Atlanta. I got my $60 million. Why in the fuck should I believe any black wide receiver in the NFL? I'm just going to be real. This is something that a lot of people ain't going to really want to talk about. This ain't some people that want to, they don't want to hear this, but this is what's going through my head. Why the fuck should I care about any black wide receiver when we having case after case after case of you giving these guys money and they're doing the complete opposite of what shit happened? They don't give a fuck about nobody but themselves. You can suck a, a, a left testicle off of an elephant, nor Eve. If you think Julio Jones is innocent, no the fuck he ain't. Because he took his money. At, at the end of the day, let's call that what it is. That's stealing money from a guy. Period. Point fucking blank. If you sign a contract to play for a team, and then say you get the money and get the guaranteed money, and you say, oh, no, this is not going to work out. I'm not going to play for Atlanta. That's fucking stealing. But why? Because you did not live up to your word. It's stealing money. So you can, everybody can kiss my ass with all of this bullshit. Okay. At the end of the day, a lot of these guys, the Stefan Diggs, uh, you, you got guys like even um, Je uh, Justin Jefferson. You know what I'm saying? These guys, are holding out doing and look you can say whatever the hell you want but a lot of these wide receivers they're divas they only care about themselves they only care about them getting paid it's a they don't want they don't want to do anything for the team it's becoming a problem so instead of us sitting up here and say man hey man whatever you got to do to get your money you want you want we want to say that we want to say whatever it takes to to, to get money to get our money, do whatever it takes to get money. Name, uh, uh, like John, name any other position group that's doing this right now. Getting their money and not and not living up to their, their contract. That's crying and say, look, I don't care about nothing else. I need my check. When was the last time you saw a wide receiver restructuring his contract? We see we see the exact same thing uh, uh, with several wide receivers, and then they whining and crying, whining, crying, whining and crying, whining, crying, and whining and crying. The wide wide receiver position is one of the most diva fucked up positions there is. Now keep that real. No other position in this league cries more than the wide receiver group. And and the sad part about it, it's not even everybody. It's the it's the ones that 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 once they get a couple of hundred yard uh, receiving issue, uh, uh, when they once they start getting a couple of uh, um, you know accolades here and now, this is when they start acting up. There's been very few wide receivers that say, all right. Let's play team ball. It's all about the team. Very few of them. Jerry Rice for one. When the last time we heard about uh, any off the field issues or concerns or Jerry Rice not doing what's best for the team? When when the last time we heard about that? When have when was the last time we said, yep, Jerry Rice is selfish? Well, Jerry Rice is gonna take all, you know, he's he's not gonna do anything to help the team. When, when was the last time we ever heard that? When was the last time we heard Jerry Rice buying a fucking Lamborghini and crashing and shit into and, 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 and to, you know, innocent civilian and walking off? When was the last time we heard this? Most of the, a lot of these issues are black athletes. And I know a lot of people, again, I know a lot of people gonna have a lot to say about this, but I do not care. There's a problem with these young black youth, they're not taking anything seriously. And Mike, the reason for that is the media costly wide receiver. And, and that's the thing. That's the thing. This is this is what this is what we always say about again. This is what we always say about these players. We gotta stop putting these guys on pedestal because we start they, they get a couple million dollars 
And here we go. These guys think they on top of the world. They Tony Montana. They think they the good fellas. And, and 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 I can carry guns. I can I can, you know, do as many drugs as I can. I can I can bribe anybody I can. I can do whatever. Like they can do whatever. I can do whatever the hell I want to. Why? Because I'm Rashi Rice. Julio left this organization. He left these fans. The thing, the thing is, it's not even he left the, the organization. Julio just left the fans and said, fuck the fans. The people that bought your jersey, the people that loved you, you you didn't you didn't leave shit. You left a look, you had a, another organization leave a message for you. You couldn't even get on Instagram and say, hey, this is not personal Atlanta Falcons fans. I love you. I, I, like this is not this is not about you, but this is about you know my well being. Blah blah blah. Julio didn't give a fuck. Guess who else didn't give a fuck? The other guy. Anybody want to? Th anybody know who that other guy is? The other guy is Calvin Ridley, another guy that just didn't give a flying fuck. It was about him. Calvin Ridley didn't give a damn about his teammates. Calvin Ridley didn't give a damn about the fans. Doing stupid stuff. You know what the rules are when it comes down to the NFL. You cannot gamble. This is one of the first things that they teach you even in college. So I don't want to hear nothing about these excuses that we got for these players. Oh, everybody else didn't get their money. I mean, look, it's not about that. It's about look at the pattern that's right before. This is going to ruin it for the next kid and the next kid that come into the NFL. We already got, got we already got a problem with the quarterback position. These people are ready to throw guys away after two or three years. Black quarterbacks don't even get a fucking chance. Why? Because they're fucking black. They're not even taught properly. So if a quarter a black quarterback don't do it in two to three years, they're ready to throw him in the fucking trash. They didn't even they didn't even give Malik Willis two years before they gave up on him. You see what we already see what happened with Justin Fields. They already gave up on him. Now that's a whole long that's a whole nother story. But they they ready to give up these black athletes so fucking quickly. So when it when when you already have an issue and a concern in regards to where these were black athletes and, and, and not just black athletes, just athletes in general, when you already have you know, I, I'll just say this, black athletes, when you already have an issue and concern with black quarterbacks, we cannot make it worse. We cannot make it worse. Henry Ruggs is in jail because he murdered somebody because he thought he was a fucking Formula One race car driver. Didn't give a damn about who was in. Th this is a public fucking street and you're running 120 some miles an hour on a public fucking road. What are we doing, people? What, what, what are we fucking doing? When are we got to we have to stop making we have to make we, we, we have to make it easier for ourselves. This is not making it easier. It's only a it, this is only a black eye for every other black wide receiver and every black athlete that comes into the league. This is not good. We have to stop making excuses. Therapy, what's going on? It's like we, we see this time and time again with black wide receivers, all these diva wide receivers. And it's always the wide receivers that's, that's trying to hold out and call people out in the media and all this type of stuff. Well, y'all pay these guys. But look, at the end of the day, guess what? It's a privilege to be able to play in the NFL and make hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars. That's a fucking privilege. Stop trying to pretend like you Tony Montana. Stop trying to pretend that you run the fucking world. Because it only takes one fucking incident for your life or someone else's life and your career to be a over. 
it only takes one opportunity. It only takes one fucking moment for everything to be gone. You walk away from the scene and they say you got guns, drugs, and all types of stuff in, in, in the car. And they get out of the car like they, look, it's a video go on, on social media right now. Y'all can go, you can go to Man Mike Sports on Twitter or X and see it for yourself. These guys walked away from traffic like they did not give a damn about nothing but themselves. And we continuously, as a black community, try to put these guys on a pedestal. Why? Because they drive a Lamborghinis and they got a million dollars. God, we, we have to stop. This is disgusting. Why are you making millions of dollars and still want to be a thug? Terry, ter like this is what I'm talking about, Terry. Ter this is what I'm ta talking about. Oh, gee, this, this is this is this is absolutely this is disgusting. It's fucking terrible. Black athletes, you know, you know, probably better than a lot of people. You know, once you get an opportunity, you better seize that opportunity because you never know if your time is going to be up. Some people just like they may be good enough, but the, the, the moment for them may never come. It's a privilege to be able to. It's a privilege to be able to become a millionaire. I don't think people understand that. That's a privilege. That's a blessing from God himself to be able to be in a position where you can feed yourself. and You don't have to worry about like you don't have to worry about feeding your kid. You don't have to worry about paying your rent like that is a fucking privilege. That's a blessing from God himself. And we taking it, spending on Lamborghinis, running to driving 200 miles an hour on a fucking what are, what are we doing? Why are we making excuses for these guys? And Josh, that's a, that's a, that's another thing too. People don't people don't know that these NFL owners you don't think that they watching you? They had they hire private investigators to watch every single player. Why do you think? Why in the fuck do you think TMZ even exists? Anybody want to know why TMZ exists and why they always have all the news on everything? They have the news on every fucking being in this world. Especially if you're famous. Y'all don't think that these owners or these people who paying your money don't have private investigators following you everything. And then we wondering how TMZ has got all they got all the information. They got all the like they, they, they follow your every move. And for whatever fucking reason, you think that you above the fucking law. And then we go on and say, how the hell TMZ? Well, they got a fucking, uh, they have, they have people designed. They have people assigned to you to watch your every fucking move. They were doing this in the 60s with Martin Luther King recording him from different rooms. Every, 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 we talking about every hotel, motel that he ever stayed in. They had these people following his every fuck fucking move in 1960 but these stupid fucking morons these stupid fucking morons today think that they are not being followed by these owners by the government it's 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 absolutely much how ignorant these people are how stupid can you be you so worried about trying to be you you're trying to you you're so worried about trying to be on top of the world that you're not even using common sense. Chris, Chris from Georgia. I would rather show up in a limousine. Bro, look. That you can literally pay a limo driver. I have a friend that's a limo driver, okay? You can literally pay him a thousand, ten thousand dollars a month, or a hundred thousand for the entire year, and he'll be he'll drop you anywhere and everywhere you want. 
You don't have to say two words to him. Just say, hey, bye, and that's game on. That's it. This man would literally go to the store, pick up whatever you need. If you need something to drink, if you need something to, you know, eat for the morning, breakfast, night, whatever. This dude would do all the shopping for you as a limo driver. Why are we doing this to ourselves? Why is the athlete doing it to ourselves? We want to have our thug boys. We want to have our thug boys and our boys that's from the from the Crips and the in the Bloods and the GDs and all this type of shit walking around there. And these Negroes ain't never had a damn. They they ain't never had a dollar in they in their pocket. But we sitting up here trying to put these guys in a position to ruin us, to help ruin us. Why are you doing this? Why are you? Why do you have? Okay, why do you have guns, drugs in a car with you? What what the fuck are you thinking? And for what I understand, this is not this is this 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 right here. For what I understand, this is a rented Lamborghini. <laughs> all I know from what I again, all I know is this is a rented Lamborghini. Sad. He haven't earned her his first big contract. Yeah, he's already wild. Bro, this is bro, this is dumb, Austin. It's dumb, bro. What what are you doing? What are we teaching? What are we teaching these kids, bro? What what like what what are they are they unwilling? To listen, or it, or these guys, or, or we just not teaching them. Me personally, this is just my take. I don't think we are doing what we supposed to. Why? Because we're trying to look. We trying to fuck. Uh, look, I'm gonna just say this, cause cause I'm I'm about to I'm, like I said, we got people they're they're in their upper later thirties, forties, fifties. Trying to live out their teen years, live out their early twenty years. All right, they're trying to live out their early twenty and teen years over again. You've, we've had our time. We've had our time. So instead of actually helping these guys make the right decisions and leading them accordingly. And not exacerbating the issue, we out there partying with them. We got 50, 60 year old guys that's in the club messing with young men and women themselves. You know what I'm saying? Instead of doing things, instead of teaching these kids the right way and teaching them how to be productive citizens and just, just be smart, we out here partying with them. Or we got some that just like, hey man, you're a grown ass man. You can do whatever you want to do. Sad. <sighs> Folks want to uphold this culture mess, and this is the result of it. And that's Rashad, bro. Like that's that's the stuff that I'm talking about. It was the thug life that got and that got to Vic, and he got millions of dollars in dog fighting. You see what I'm saying? It's like this this is this is a problem, a major problem with the black community. With minorities. Let's just keep it real. Hispanic and black culture, it's a major problem. We get we get put in jail because we 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 want to continue to stay quote unquote hood. Because we want to stay hood. Why you got millions of dollars? You still dog fighting? Why you got millions of dollars and you got you got guys carrying down drugs with you? Like what? What are we? What are we talking about? What are we doing? If these guys aren't your security, your personal security, your bodyguards, why? Why are you guys walking around with drugs and all that type of stuff? OG Chelsea has been in the game for. 
time. When I tell you this man know people that sit with Tupac, Biggie, Wolf, Puff, Shook. When I tell you OG Chance has been through it all, he's seen it all. And the stories that he gives, he tells us, man, it's like you, just, it, it, it's it's a it's a problem with ignorance. It's an ego problem. This is it, this has everything to do with ego. This has nothing, nothing whatsoever to do with these guys being young. This is stupid. We're not teaching these guys the proper way. So guess what? They're gonna do whatever they want. Probably wouldn't have get bet some organization might arrange a limo. And, and like I said, you for yourself. You can tell your auntie, cousin, sister, brother to look, call limo services where they can literally, you can literally call somebody and say, hey, look, I'm a little bit high. I'm a little bit drunk for being at this party. Come pick me up at such and such address. They literally have this now. They literally have uh, businesses that's dedicated to, you know, upper echelon. People that have fame, fortune, that type of stuff. You can literally call all these people and, 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 and they can accommodate your every need. If I can, if if I can get a, a it, look, if I can get a a, 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 a massage at twelve o'clock in the damn, at twelve o'clock at, at twelve midnight, okay. If I can get a massage at twelve midnight, don't tell me that I can't get somebody to drive me somewhere. This has everything to do with ego. I want to show off my Lamborghini. I want to party. I want to live it up and live it. Up. I want to show people. That this is what I got. What, what's the fucking point? You already on top of the world. You already a world champion. Instead of just being, instead of just being smart about this, you do this dumb shit. Tyler Hill, how how you doing, sir? Happy Easter, happy Resurrection Day for everybody. I appreciate you for joining us. Oh, absolutely. Uh, we cover. Tyler, we actually cover uh, wrestling on Mad Mike Network also, um, but we, we're definitely going to, we, we're soon, we're actually going to do one real soon. Um, got to get back to it uh, uh, to upload a little bit more. I got so many uh, things that I want to talk about, but we're going to have one, I believe it's Friday. But if you have a question, you know, head over to Mad Mike Network, or you can just leave a question here and i uh I do a video on anybody, but like I said, we we actually doing a uh, we do every month we do a uh, a public live event uh, recap on all our shows. So absolutely, we do some of everything, man. Braves, Hawks, Falcons, NFL, all that. So absolutely, do I support Israel? Um, I don't I'm I'm I don't know much about what's going on with that. I I'm just gonna be honest. Like I I don't like speaking on things that I don't really know. I haven't re I mean I've researched but I don't understand what's what's everything all about. I know I hope I'm I'm not trying to be disrespectful or disregard your question. Um like I said, I'm straightforward, but I don't like speaking on things that I have no knowledge. I have limited knowledge on and I don't know much about that particular uh, is, uh, well, what's going on as far as that? I'll say, man, like, I'll say this, though, in regards to Israel. Um, I, I, it's, I, I don't like to see bloodshed. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I really just do. And I, I, I just want to say this, too. I just wish we all get along. I know that just sounds so cliche, but I just want all of us to just get along. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, at the end of the day, man, I support nonviolence. I support protecting yourselves, but I don't want to speak on that issue because I really don't, I really don't know the full extent of what, what's actually going on. So God bless you, my brother.
Uh, yes, Alvin Mack, he did. He, he, he hit and run. So he caused the accident on the interstate, which is horrible in itself. Um, Rashid Rice, we don't know if he was the driver. We're assuming he's the driver. Um, but I, I personally believe that somebody may, if he, if he was the driver, I think one of them, one of his boys is going to try to, uh, take the, um, uh, Take the rap, or he gonna try to convince them into taking the rap. They have him on on tape saying that he's driving. Oh boy, he's he's screwed. Yeah, he's screwed. He's screwed. Screwed. Like I said, they got Hollywood Brown right now, so I don't know if they're like I honestly just let everything play out as far as uh, Rashid Rice is concerned. Um, I think he's a wonderful player, but this is just this is such a a, a dumb and an ignorant. This this is just this this is just plain old stupid. I I, I have look I, you can't use use as an excuse in this type of situation this is just pure stupidity at its finest you know better than this anytime see this is why i don't like having like buying cars like that is because anytime you buy a car like that you're gonna have the urge to race it and a lot of times you're trying to race this thing in public places where lives are going to be a danger that's one of the main reasons why i say you should just never buy those types of cars it's sad it's stupid it is just outright ignorant yeah they might have to they, like yeah is they might have to sign back tony at this point like i said this this is this is pure stupidity this is pure stupidity And 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 they look at at this point they're going to have to draft a wide receiver. They have to, you know. I think uh, Hollywood Brown is going to be good enough, but I think at this point you have to resign another. Uh, you have to uh, trade. Uh, well, draft another. Draft another uh, wide receiver. You have to at this point. Maybe two. They have to trade. They have to draft a wide receiver at this point. No if ands or buts about it. So, like I said, man, um, yeah, it was four. It, yeah, that's four. <sighs> yeah, that's that's the that's like, what's the what's the point of having friends? Like, what's the point of having homeboys if you got all y'all stupid? Like, what's the point of having four friends and everybody ignorant? I don't get that. You just got four morons around you. It's just four idiots with millions of dollars, or hundreds of thousands of dollars around you. That's just that 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 right there is stupidity at its finest. This is why you have to have the right people around you, because things like this happen. Bad, just just absolutely horrible. Just. Like I said, this is horrible, it's stupid, it's downright ignorance. And like I said, I'm tired of blaming, I'm tired of using the excuse that these guys are young. Because not everybody does this. Other, We have a, a lot of young youth, and, and this is the reason why I'm so upset. Because we got some talented wide receivers in this draft. And, and now these general managers... And owners are going to be looking at them saying, oh, I don't know if I want to pay you. You got a little issue. You know, you got a little issue. I don't know if I want to do that. So he's messing it up for the next guy and the next guy, the next guy to get paid. Because you can't handle your issues outside. Terrible. Like I said, uh, 
Look, man, I'm hungry. I got to go get something to eat. I hope you guys enjoy your Resurrection Sunday. Continue to, you know, be blessed and be a blessing to others. Like I said, man, this straight heat pop podcast series from your boy, man, Mike. I'm gonna be. I'm just going to be honest. I'm going to be open. I'm going to be loud and I'm going to be brash about it. Because at some point we got to stop. We have to stop making excuses for stupidity and ignorance. We got to start teaching and holding everybody accountable for their actions. When you see someone doing stupid, dumb ass shit, we got to start calling and hold them accountable. Just because we like them or we trying to, you know, get a couple dollars off of them or get a a, a spot from them. We got to stop this shit. Hold yourself accountable. Hold your friend accountable. Hold your wife, your girlfriend, or whoever accountable. Stop making fucking excuses. We're never going to get where we need to be getting, where we need to go, and we're never going. To, our kids are never going to, you know, get to that next level if we don't hold each other accountable. Stop making excuses and let's start challenging each other. That's all I got to say about that. Your boy, man, Mike. Appreciate it. Love all y'all for supporting. Like I said, Mad Mike Network, uh, we're going to be doing some uh, wrestling things over there. Um, I got a couple of episodes where I'm going to be uh, a couple of shorts that I want to talk about. Uh, guys like Roman Reigns and, you know, uh, Naomi, Jay Cargill and Bianca Belair. I'm going to be talking about that real soon. Uh, but like I said before, you guys new to the channel. Appreciate you for joining me. Hit that subscribe button, man. Uh, like I said, ask any question. Any question is welcome here. Doesn't have to be Falcon or NFL related. I will drop it for you. That's all I got to say about that. Your boy, Matt, Mike is out. Have a good night. God bless. Adios.